Greenland. Land of ice. It is the biggest island on the planet, ten times the size of the United Kingdom. But with a population of only 58,000, it's one of the smallest nations. Greenland is also one of the most mineral-rich regions in the world, and within the last decade, Greenland has become a new mining frontier. The Greenland ice cap is rapidly melting around the edges, exposing new mineral-rich mountains, whilst the melting of the Arctic sea ice means that cargo transportation can now operate throughout the year. Greenland is currently seeing a greater interest in mineral exploitation and um, research. At the moment, we have granted around 100 licenses. We have to be aware that we are in competition with the rest of the world, and we are living in the Arctic society where extraction can be very difficult in relation to logistics, etc. I also think it comes very natural for, for Greenland to think of the environment as we have lived of the environment for hundreds and hundreds of years. On the other hand, we have a very fragile economy and we need to create industrial development. But we have to make sure that this is done in the best possible way with the best international practice uh, in relation to protecting the environment. The Kvarnafjeld Mountains on the southern tip of Greenland are believed to be the world's second largest source of rare earth metals. Rare earth metals are a critical resource for most of the world's new green tech and electronic innovations, and they've become known as the technology metals. They're a small but vital group of metals in products as diverse as electric cars and smartphones, solar panels and wind turbines. Today, China has a near monopoly on the rare earth metal market, accounting for 97% of global production. And yet, of this quantity, they only export 25%. This has created an unpredictable market, and with increasing global demand, has meant that prices for some of these technology metals, such as those used in magnets and batteries, have massively increased in just one year. The rare earth business is booming and is making Greenland even more attractive for mining and exploitation. Several companies are now exploring South Greenland for valuable rare earth metals. We've been here since 2007. We've drilled um, 50,000 metres of core in that time. This uh, project is, uh, is enormous in size. If it takes off, it'll be undoubtedly be the largest rare earth and uranium project on the globe. This is a diamond drill rig, which drills uh, three metre drill runs at approximately 50, 60 metres a day. Drills to a depth of three metres at a time. Once it's drilled, the three metre rod is pumped up by water. They pull the rod out and they extract the core from metals are intrinsically important to renewable energy technologies. So in our minerals such as Steenstrapine, where we know we have all 15 rare metals, some of those metals will be used in efficient lights, some of those metals will be used in the magnets that make wind farms and wave power turn motion into electricity, and some of those were used in the electric batteries that store that electricity. So all those 15 metals in the one mineral in the one project. It's a major contributor to the world um, technologies and it's in a fairly stable part of the world which brings attractions for 
knowing security, not just next year, but 10 years or 20 or 30 years from, from now. For the small fishing town of Narsak, with only 1,600 inhabitants, the arrival of such large-scale drilling operations is bound to have a significant impact. At the moment, we are standing at a pathway. We can either do it the right way or we can do it the wrong way. And obviously, we want to do it the right way and also uh, making sure that we have all the information uh, from around the world to ensure that we don't have to do the same mistakes as other countries have done before in the, in the mining industry. And also looking at the best available legislation in, in, uh, in relation to taking care of protecting the environment. Um, but also taking some money in, in a grant, um, a deposit, so we make sure that we always have something in case that uh, the companies are not living up to what they have promised. In Greenland we have decided to have a mineral fund, um, which means that any profit that comes out of the mining industry is transferred into this fund to make sure that we don't use the profit for just everyday expenses in the national budget, but make sure that the profit is used for the future economy, which also means uh, putting uh, money aside for educating our people and making sure that we create new uh, developments and industrial developments for the future.